Hello, welcome. Please read the problem, try it out, and then press play. We'll solve it together. All right, they tell us here to explain why this, 81 to the 3 fourths equals 27. So, okay, so let's write that down. 81 to the 3 fourths power equals 27. How would I explain this? Well, I would just rewrite what's happening over here. 3 over 4 is equivalent to 1 fourth times 3. If you think about this, I'm using a law of exponents right here. When you have exponents like this next to each other in parentheses, you multiply them. The basic law states something like this. a to the m to the nth equals a to the m times n. In other words, you can multiply these exponents and they will be equivalent. So it will give you an equivalent result on this side over here. So I'm working backwards. I know that 3 times a fourth is 3 fourths. I'm just splitting that that fraction up into these two factors. Why would I do it that way? Well, I want to take the fourth first, the fourth power, because that's the, really the fourth root. It's the fourth root of 81. It's a number times itself four times that equals 81. And then that is going to be cubed. Usually I try to root down the number first because it gives me a smaller result. And then I scale it up by cubing it. In this case, the fourth root of 81 is 3. And 3 cubed is, our answer, 27. So in words, you would just explain what we're doing here. Something to the effect that a fourth times three is three-fourths because of this law of exponents. And then you're taking the fourth root first of 81, which is three. You could just say that literally what's happening. And then say you take three and then cube it after, and three cubed is 27. Explaining these steps just shows them that you understand what is actually happening with these fractional exponents and the whole number exponents. All right, I hope this helped.